Welcome to News 3, I'm Kurt Williams. Topping our headlines, a triple shooting under investigation in Elizabeth City. The Daily Advance shared this picture from the scene and is reporting that three people have died after being shot. It happened near Perry Street and Jordan Street. There's a very large police presence there and we're told that people out on the scene, very emotional, as you can understand. We will continue to bring you the latest updates on air and on our website at WTKR.com. We have an update to the St. Paul's Housing Redevelopment Project in Norfolk. If you recall, residents filed a lawsuit against the city back in 2020, claiming they were being discriminated against. On Thursday, we learned from the Norfolk City Attorney that the lawsuit challenging the plan to redevelop Tidewater Gardens has now been dismissed. He tells News 3 that all groups involved came to an agreement. Tidewater Gardens is set to add 100 new units for public and low-income housing. Time now for a check on our forecast with meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, today was exceptionally warm for us. We had temperatures that warmed up to about 70 degrees. Now, as we head into tonight, we are going to be having a very weak cold front passing through. So we're not really going to be noticing too much of a difference in our overnight temperatures. We'll be seeing those lows dropping down into the upper 40s and eventually those clouds throughout this evening clearing out for us. Now, we are still staying pretty dry, so we do continue that burn ban for North Carolina. So make sure that you're not burning anything outdoors. We are going to be unfortunately staying dry throughout this weekend. Seasonable temperatures for us though, right around the low 60s to the mid 60s. We have another cold front headed our way on Sunday night into Monday. A couple of showers, but not really enough to provide us some relief from the drought that we're experiencing right now. It will be cooling us down into the low 50s for Tuesday. We rebound to seasonal normal temperatures, about 60 degrees for the middle of next week, and that is when we're going to be having a greater chance at finally seeing a decent amount of rainfall Wednesday and Thursday.